All right, so in this video, let's try to post to Discord from Google Sheets. So here we are, we have the channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little gear icon. And over here, we're gonna look at this integrations. And here we have this option to create a webhook, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So we can set our settings and pick the channel for this. So we'll call this Google Sheets. So I'm gonna copy this URL and we're gonna save our changes. So in addition to getting that URL, I'm also gonna open this build one yourself link. That should take us to some documentation here. So I'm just gonna leave this alone for now. Go back to this. Uh, we can get out of this. And then I'll go to my spreadsheet. We'll go to extensions, open app script. I'm gonna name this project. And we'll create a function. I'm just gonna call it post to discord. So for now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a constant here. I'll call this one URL. And in quotes, I'll just paste that discord link. Now this Discord link is gonna have a token in it right here, which basically should stay private. And obviously I'm gonna delete this webhook after I'm done with this tutorial. So my point is you don't want this to be in some front-end HTML. We're just gonna use it within our backend script. So at this point we can use URL fetch app and use fetch to make a request to that URL. And I'm just gonna pass that variable URL. And here we need to do params. And that params, if we scroll down, see there's this options right there. So I'm just gonna copy that part and I'll just paste it up here. Let's align this a little bit to remove this colon, make this a constant and the method of this request is gonna be post, like it is here. We need to do this form data, which we don't have, but we're gonna pass those options here. Probably save the response in a variable. So at this point, we have these options, we pass it here. It's gonna be post method. And now let's do the form data. So I'm gonna create another constant here. Right above, we'll call it form data, and it's gonna be an object. Now for this data, let's go to that Discord documentation and take a look. And you can see here on the left, we have this interactions and we have this message component. Let's open that. And you can see it gives us this example of a JSON, and it gives us this content and it gives us this components. So what we'll do, we'll go to our object here and create a message. And within this message property, we'll create that content right there. So we'll go back and do content and we'll say, Hi there. So at this point, let's just try to run this and see what happens. So I'm gonna open this function, run. It's going to ask me for permissions, so I will take care of this. So it says message cannot send an empty message, which means it does not recognize this message content. So maybe we should consider this whole form data, the message object, and then just set the content on it like this and see if that will recognize this as a message. So we'll save this, we'll run it. And as you can see, that went through just fine. And if I go check our channel, 
see right here we have a post it says hi there so there it is now we can post directly from our script to our channel right here so i'm gonna just rename this form data to message and rename this form data to message too just so that variable makes a little more sense so now that we have this piece of code Let's try to now use some Google Sheets data to post that information to Discord. So we'll go to Google Sheets and enter some messages. So we'll consider each line of this a message. What I want to do, I want to grab the message here and basically post it. And then the next time, I want to grab the next one and post it and keep going through this list. And the way I'm going to do that, every time I post this one, I'm going to do something like post it. And then next time for this one, I'm going to do post it. And basically, I'm just going to use this column to figure out whether that was already posted or not. So I'm going to add a new row on top here. I'm going to say message and status. And what I'll do, I'll basically use this logic. I'll go in this column, in the status column, all the way down, and then do command up. It's going to stop on the last cell that has information in it. So for example, if this was posted, then if I do command up, it would have stopped here. And then I'm going to go one row down, and I'm going to say this is the row from which I want to use the message. Let's go back to this. Let's keep this as is and create another function. And we'll start by saving our spreadsheet to a variable. And then we'll save our worksheet to a variable by grabbing that spreadsheet and do get sheet by name. And the name of the worksheet well, this is called sheet one, but I'm going to rename this. And then I'll use this name. So now I want to go in this column B all the way down and do command up. So the way we'll go all the way down, we'll take WS dot get range. We want to be in the last row in the spreadsheet. And for that, we'll do ws.get max rows to get total number of rows in the spreadsheet. I'm going to do a comma and we're going to go to the second column. So once we got that, then we want to do that control up. And for that, we're going to do this get next data cell. And that's going to accept a spreadsheet direction. And I'm going to get that direction by taking our spreadsheet app. And here, well, apparently this thing gets on away. Try to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to take that spreadsheet app. And we're going to take direction dot. And then I want to do up for control up. And then once I do so, I want to actually move one cell down. So I'll do offset because what's going to happen when I do control up, it's going to get here. Then I need to move to the next row. So I'm going to do offset one row and I need to also offset one column left. So minus one. So from here, one down, one left, that's my message. And we're going to do get value to get the value from that cell. So I'm going to say const current message equals this. Since I'm planning to also have something like posted here, once this is done, I need also a reference to this cell over here. So for that reason, let's actually change this a little bit and call it message cell. And then here, let's not get the value, just get the cell. And then 
we'll say const message or current message equals that message cell dot get value. So hopefully all of this works. So we should console log and check our results. So I'm going to console log that current message. And I'm going to go ahead and run this function. Again, take care of this. And it says, what's up, which is accurate. That would be this message over here. Now we're going to use that message to post to Discord. And what we'll do, we'll accept current message variable here in this function and then pass it right there. And what we can do over here, we can simply just use that function. We can say post to Discord and we're going to pass that current message to post. And after we post, we want to then also go to this cell next to this message cell and add posted. So we'll take that message cell and then offset same row, one column right to get to that next column. And we're going to set the value to whatever it needs to be. So at this point, now, if I run this function that says post from spreadsheet, which I didn't name correctly, but it doesn't matter. So we'll just go here and open this and run. That should now have posted here, but let's also go check our discord and see if it says what's up. And as you can see, it does that was actually posted here. So now if I go and run it again, it should now post the next message down here so I can run. And now it should say this one is posted. And if we go back and look here, there it is. So what we can do now, if we want this to basically keep posting our messages for us, we can just set some schedule, like post it every minute or something like that. So I can go back here, open this, and we can set a trigger. But the thing is, at some point, our messages will be done and we want to stop doing this. So once we get to the point where this is empty, we don't want to post. So for that reason, let's do a check for our message to not be empty. So we'll say down here, before we post, if that current message equals blank, then return. So this way, if we get to a point where there are no more messages left, it will not post anymore. Let's actually go back and set a trigger. I'm going to add a trigger down here after this clock. And I'll do that post from spreadsheet function. And I'm going to do time driven and I'm going to do, well, we can do hourly minute timer, whatever specific date and time I'm going to do minutes timer because I want to test this and I'm going to do every minute. You can do every five minutes, as you can see, every minute good enough for me. And I'll simply just hit save. And now what it should do, it should automatically run our function every minute and hopefully post a new message. Now, while we're waiting for this to do that post like this one and this one, let's maybe add a couple of more messages. So now we're just going to have to wait until it actually executes our function and hopefully it posts automatically to Discord. So the next message should be this one. And as you can see, all of a sudden I got this, it says posted because the script actually ran. And now if we go and check here, now it went here. And 
it's going to keep doing this. So let me just add another thing here because it's all being posted by the same person here. So now the next one should go below this. Hello? And maybe this time we can just wait here. And there it is. See, here I am again. And if we go back and take a look at our spreadsheet, see, that's the next one. And then obviously you can see where this is going. It's going to do then this one, then this one. And then once it gets to this, because it's empty, it's just not going to post anything anymore. And that should do it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.